Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and thanks for tuning in to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice within their industry. And today we're taking it on the road and I have Toby Bowen. And Toby, welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Jeff. Sure. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. My name is Toby Bowen. I have a business called Instinctive Branding. And what I help people do is take their brand and make it a whole lot better, uh, predominantly through online marketing and for the most part, social media. Okay, great. So let's get right into it. And social media is everywhere. Say if we have a new business, someone out there has a new business, um, they want to get into social media, where do they start? Where do you start? That's the biggest question people ask me. What do I do? I see so much noise out there. What do I do? Facebook? Do I do Twitter? Do I do Pinterest? Do I do LinkedIn? Do I do YouTube? Do I do Instagram? Well, for every single person, the case is absolutely different. Every business is different and every person that you're trying to recruit as a client is different. So you might have a client base right now that works for you or you might have a client base that doesn't work for you. You first really need to determine who you're marketing to. If your market is young kids, then you want to be focused a lot more on places like Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter as opposed to LinkedIn. LinkedIn would be for somebody that has a business, of, a strong business to business connection, perhaps an attorney or a CPA and someone who has very, very business focused business as opposed to business to consumer. It's more of a business to business. And Facebook is just incredible. Facebook has so many different people on there. You can get a lot of traction on Facebook. Um, Twitter is much for more for men or for a younger generation. Um, and people take things in very differently. So when you have someone who's interested in Pinterest, for instance, Pinterest has 95% women who are on Pinterest. And those women are on there looking at pictures and looking at recipes and looking at ideas for all kinds of things. And people are purchasing things that they find on Pinterest. So if you have a product, that's a great place for you to start. If you have a business like a CPA, LinkedIn would be a great place for you to start. But it's real, the most important part is that when you start, you really need to be consistent. People say, oh, well, how much should I be posting? You need to post, like if you have a Facebook business page, you need to post once at least every single day. On Twitter, they say four to five times a day. And that may sound like a lot to a lot of people, there's so much noise out there. Imagine, you know, if you get onto Facebook and you see your news feed and it's just going and going with so many new things. Well, people are getting so much information. The average person has 380 connections on Facebook. So imagine those people and their business pages and all kinds of other things, restaurants and movies and everything they're interested in is on there. So you're really fighting for space with all of those people. But it's not to say that it's not worth it because it's absolutely worth it. Okay, well, that's a lot of information right there you gave us. Thank you for that. But let's say uh, someone out there decides, okay, we want to get on social media and they pick a platform, Facebook or Twitter, whatever the case may be. How do they know what to post? And, um, and is corporate brand, does it really matter? Oh, your brand is your biggest piece of information and real estate that you have. If you don't have your brand designed, you really need to know who your brand is and what you are. Because authentically, that's who you want to tell people that you are. When they understand you, they'll want to do more business with you. So when you're posting, you get information to people in, um, you can find it on Google and different articles. You can go on Bing and look for articles about, you know, you might want to look about different tips on how to do a great video. You know, for Jeff, if Jeff wanted to do a posting on Facebook, how to do a great video, what you would need, how important is the lighting, you know, all these kinds of things. So all of those little bits of information are really, really important. But you need to remember when you're posting, people take things in now because of social media in sound bites. So it's a little snippet of information. It's not a ton of information, it's just a little bit. So you wanna post a couple sentences and find a really great dynamic photo that matches what you're talking about because people on Facebook, for instance, are very, very visual. So they wanna know what to post and how to post it. Post something relevant to your business and you wanna be posting 80% education and 20% selling. Okay, very good. Well. Um uh, one of the questions I, I, I even uh, wonder myself is, uh, you know, there's thing, I'm on, I think, four or five different social media platforms. And to kind of help save time, you know, there are things like Hootsuite and whatnot where you can essentially go to one place and post everywhere. But say I have a Facebook business account and a LinkedIn business account. Do I post the same thing on both 
platforms, or does it really matter? It absolutely matters. Um, there are certain times that you post the same information. If you do a blog, for instance, blogging is wonderful to do. So blogging should be generated off of your website. So when you have that blog posted to your website, you then can take that blog post and post it to Facebook, to Twitter, to LinkedIn. Um, and there are apps that help you do all of that like in a very easy way. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash Twitter, it will allow you to automatically link all of your Twitter posts over from Facebook. I don't recommend doing it the other way because then it looks like you're tweeting on Facebook and that is never fun for people. So, um, but you need to be able to um, take the relevant posts, like for LinkedIn, you wouldn't post something about um, going on vacation on LinkedIn. It just makes no sense to people, but you absolutely would put that on your Facebook feed. Pinterest, you'd want to put more product stuff um, and your blog posts and things that you're really interested in so people get to know who you are as a person and as a business. Okay, great. Well, thank you for the information today, Absolutely. and I'm glad we got to speak. And uh, for any of you out there that are interested in finding more about Toby and her business, please uh, feel free to check out the, uh, the web address at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue the conversation online, please fill out the box below this video. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care.